thank you from the very depth of my heart for sharing this moment with me. In the journey of life, amidst the hustle and bustle that fills our days, there's a gentle, almost imperceptible voice that beckons to us. It's the whisper of life itself, a murmur that, if listened to, can guide us toward our true calling, our deepest passions, and our most profound purposes. Have you ever paused even for a split second amidst the chaos to listen to it? Have you felt its subtle nudge steering you towards a path you hadn't noticed before? Every moment, life is speaking to us. It speaks in the silence between our thoughts, in the coincidences that we too often dismiss as mere chance, and in the quiet nudging of our intuition, which we sometimes ignore in favor of louder, more insistent voices. These whispers are the universe's way of nudging us gently, guiding us, and sometimes, when we're headed in the wrong direction, steering us back on course. But how often do we truly listen? There's a story, not unlike many you might have heard, about a person who discovered their life's purpose in the most unexpected way. It wasn't through a loud declaration or a dramatic turning point. Instead, it came as a whisper, a soft melody carried by the wind during a time of deep reflection. This whisper didn't shout for attention. It waited patiently to be heard. And when it was, it unfolded a path so aligned with their soul that it felt like coming home. This story is a testament to the transformative power of listening to life's subtle cues. A reminder that sometimes what we seek isn't found in the noise, but in the whispers. Think back to a time when a gentle insight caught you by surprise, leading you to an unexpected discovery about yourself or the world around you. Wasn't there a moment, however fleeting, when you knew that the universe was conspiring in your favor? That moment, dear friends, was life whispering to you? Now, as we embark on this journey together today, I invite you to open your hearts and minds to the possibility that life is whispering to you right here, right now. Perhaps it's in the longing you feel when you gaze at the night sky or the sense of peace that washes over you as you listen to the morning birds. It might even be in the laughter of a loved one or the warmth of a shared smile. These whispers are life's way of speaking directly to our souls, urging us to pay attention, to listen deeply, and to trust the journey, even when we cannot see the path ahead. In this journey, we call life amidst its twists and turns. Have you ever found yourself marveling at the beauty of a sunset or the intricate design of a leaf? It's in these moments when we pause and observe that we find life whispering its most profound secrets to us. Back to power of observation, the simple act of noticing the world around us can open doors to understandings and insights that were always there, waiting patiently for us to discover them. I remember a story, one that resonates with the truth of our shared human experience. It's about an individual much like any one of us who found their life's calling in the quiet observation of nature. This person wasn't seeking fame or fortune, but was instead captivated by the dance of butterflies in their garden. Day after day, they would sit in silent observation, enthralled by the delicate wings and the creature's effortless beauty. And it was in the simple act of observing, of truly seeing, that they stumbled upon a discovery that would not only change their life, but also the lives of many others. They noticed patterns in the behavior of the butterflies that led to a breakthrough in understanding ecosystem conservation. Their keen observation, driven by pure curiosity and wonder, turned into a lifelong passion and a calling that contributed to our collective understanding of the natural world. Now you might wonder, how does this story connect to us, to our daily lives filled with responsibilities and endless to-dos? The truth is, the power of observation is not reserved for the few who have the luxury of sitting and watching the world go by. It is a gift that each of us possesses, a tool we can use to uncover the whispers of life that guide us toward our true calling. Think of the last time you really observed someone you love. 
not just looked at them while thinking of something else, but truly saw them, their expressions, the light in their eyes, the subtle ways they communicate without words. And in that deep observation, did you not feel a stronger connection, a deeper understanding of who they are and what they mean to you? This is the power of observation. It connects us more deeply to the world and the people around us, revealing layers and depths we might otherwise miss. Observation also sharpens our intuition. It fine-tunes our ability to notice, not just with our eyes, but with our hearts and souls. It teaches us to listen, not just to words, but to the silence between them, to the unspoken messages that the universe sends our way. When we observe, we open ourselves up to receiving these messages, to being guided by them as we navigate our path through life. So how do we cultivate this power of observation in our daily lives? It starts with intention, with the conscious decision to be present, to truly be where we are fully and completely. It continues with curiosity, with allowing ourselves to wonder, to ask questions, and to seek answers, not just with our minds, but with our whole beings. And it grows with practice, with the commitment to slow down, to notice, to see, and to listen even when, especially when life seems too busy to allow it. As we embrace the power of observation, we find ourselves moving through the world with a greater sense of awareness, of connectedness to the intricate web of life that surrounds us. We discover joy in the simplest of things, a deeper appreciation for the beauty and the miracles that fill our everyday lives. And most importantly, we hear life's whispers more clearly, guiding us, encouraging us, and reminding us that we are part of something much larger, much more wondrous than we can ever fully comprehend. Imagine, if you will, a scenario where life's whispers become the guiding stars on the voyage of our existence. These whispers are not the loud, commanding voices that demand our attention. Rather, they are the soft murmurs that echo in the silence of our hearts, asking us to listen, to understand, and to act. They are the silent nudges that encourage us to take a leap of faith, to pursue a dream long held in the recesses of our hearts, or to extend a hand of kindness to a stranger. They are life's way of communicating its deepest secrets, its most cherished lessons. Let me share with you a story, a narrative that unfolds in the quiet moments of reflection and unfolds the power of life's whispers. There was once a person not unlike you or me who lived their life by the book, following the path laid out by society's expectations. Day in and day out, they did what was expected, yet a sense of fulfillment eluded them it was during a solitary walk on a crisp autumn evening, the leaves whispering underfoot, the cool air caressing their face, that a realization dawned upon them. The whisper of the wind, the rustle of the leaves, spoke of change, of transformation and renewal. In that moment, they understood that to live a life of true meaning, they must listen to their own heart, to the whispers of life that had long been calling them to a different path, a path of creativity, passion, and purpose. This story serves as a beacon, illuminating the truth that within each of us lies a compass, guided by the whispers of life, pointing us toward our true north. These whispers ask us to look beyond the noise, the chaos of our daily lives, and to find the courage to embrace our unique journey, to live authentically in alignment with our deepest truths, but how, you may ask, do we attune ourselves to these whispers? How do we decipher the messages encoded within them? The answer lies in stillness, in creating spaces of silence and solitude where we can connect with our inner selves, with the essence of who we are. It is in these moments of quietude that we become receptive to the subtle cues, the gentle guidance that life offers us, by cultivating mindfulness, by being fully present in the here and now, we open ourselves to the wisdom that surrounds us, to the synchronicities that guide our steps. It is also through the act of listening deeply to others, to their stories, their experiences, their truths, that we learn to hear the whispers of life more clearly. 
For within the tapestry of our collective humanity, within the shared narratives of joy and sorrow, success and failure lies the universal wisdom that binds us all. Listening to others, truly hearing them, not only deepens our connection to those around us, but also enriches our understanding of life and its myriad whispers. As we journey through life, let us remember that the whispers of life are ever-present, speaking to us in moments of joy and moments of challenge. They are there in the laughter of a child, in the beauty of a sunset, in the stillness of the early morning. They are the reminders that we are never alone, that we are connected to something greater than ourselves, to the infinite wisdom of the universe. So, dear friends, as we continue on our path, let us vow to listen more intently to the whispers of life. Let us cultivate the silence that allows us to hear, the openness that allows us to receive, and the courage that allows us to follow where they lead. For it is in listening to these whispers that we find our way to a life of passion, purpose, and profound joy. In the vastness of our lives, filled with endless chatter and noise, have we forgotten the art of truly listening. Listening not just with the intention to respond, but with the purpose to understand, to connect, to feel. It's an art that goes beyond hearing the words spoken. It's about tuning into the emotions, the unspoken truths that linger between the silences. It's in these moments of genuine connection that we discover not just more about those around us, but about the depths of our own hearts. Reflect for a moment on the last time you felt truly heard. It's a powerful feeling, isn't it? To know that someone else has offered you the gift of their attention, their presence, without judgment or distraction. This act of listening is one of the most profound gifts we can offer to one another, and yet it's become a rarity in our fast-paced world. But what if we could change that? What if we could cultivate the art of listening as a way to deepen our connections, to enrich our lives, and to understand the whispers of life more clearly? Listening in its truest form requires us to be present, fully and completely. It asks us to set aside our own agendas, our preconceptions, and to open our hearts to the experience of another. It's about creating a space where understanding can bloom, where empathy can flourish, and where real connection can take root. Imagine the impact this level of listening could have on our relationships, on our communities, on our world. But how do we cultivate this art of listening? It begins with intention. We must intentionally choose to be present in our interactions, to actively engage with the person in front of us, to listen not just to their words, but to their tone, their body language, the emotions they convey. It's a practice, a conscious effort to be in the moment, fully absorbed in the act of listening. It also requires us to quiet our own inner voices, the constant stream of thoughts, judgments, and distractions that pull us away from the present. This is perhaps the most challenging aspect of listening, but also the most rewarding. For when we quiet our own minds, we open ourselves up to truly hearing, to understanding on a deeper level, and to connecting in a way that transcends words. Listening is an act of love, a way to show care and respect for the person sharing their thoughts and feelings with us. It's a way to validate their experiences, to acknowledge their worth, and to build trust. And it's in this space of trust and openness that we often find the whispers of life speaking to us most clearly. Through the stories, the hopes, the fears of those around us, we gain insights into the human experience, into the interconnectedness of our lives, and into the universal truths that bind us. But listening isn't just about others. It's also about tuning into our own inner voice, the whispers of our soul that guide us toward our truth. It requires us to be still, to create moments of silence in our lives where we can connect with our deepest desires, our intuition, and the wisdom that lies within. It's in these moments of introspection and quiet that we often find the clarity and guidance we seek. As we journey through life, let us commit to cultivating the art of listening. 
Let us approach each conversation, each moment of silence with the intention to truly hear, to understand, and to connect. Therefore, it's through listening that we build bridges, that we heal wounds, and that we discover the beauty and richness of the human experience. Imagine standing at the edge of the ocean, the waves crashing against the shore, the sound of the water, a constant yielding force. Now consider that each wave, each sound represents the noise that fills our lives, the demands, the expectations, the endless stream of information that bombards us. It can seem overwhelming, can it? But then you close your eyes, you take a deep breath, and for a moment you find it silence, peace, a respite from the storm. It's in this space, this sacred quiet, that we can truly listen, that we can hear life whispering to us. But how do we find this silence in our everyday lives? How do we quiet the noise that surrounds us and connect with the whispers of our heart? It begins with intention with a conscious decision to seek moments of quiet, to create spaces in our lives where silence can dwell. It's about turning off the television, putting down the phone, stepping away from the endless scroll of social media, and instead tuning into the present moment, to the here and now. It's also about discernment, about choosing carefully what we allow into our space, into our minds and hearts. Just as we are selective about the food we eat, understanding its impact on our physical health, so too must we be selective about the information we consume, the conversations we engage in, the media we absorb. By choosing positivity, by surrounding ourselves with voices and messages that uplift and inspire, we begin to create an inner sanctuary, a place of peace and calm amid the chaos. Furthermore, overcoming noise requires us to cultivate mindfulness to become observers of our own thoughts and emotions. Much of the noise we experience is internal, the product of our own minds racing from one thought to the next. By practicing mindfulness, by gently bringing our attention back to the present, whenever we find ourselves lost in thought, we learn to quiet the internal noise to find stillness within. And what happens when we begin to overcome the noise when we start to listen more deeply? We discover insights and truths about ourselves and the world around us that were previously obscured. We find guidance, direction, and a sense of purpose that can only come from deep listening. We connect more authentically with others, understanding them on a level beyond words, beyond the superficial. We experience life more fully, more richly, with a sense of awe and wonder at the beauty that surrounds us. So as we continue on our journey, let us commit to seeking silence, to overcoming the noise that too often distracts us from what truly matters. Let's remember that within each of us is a place of quiet strength, of profound wisdom. And that, by connecting with this inner sanctum, we open ourselves to the guidance, the inspiration, and the love that life is always offering us. In this beautiful tapestry of life, as we journey through the valleys and peaks of our existence, how do we anchor ourselves in the practice of deep, meaningful listening? How do we turn the whispers of life into a symphony that guides our steps, enlightens our path, and fills our being with a sense of purpose and direction? It's through actionable steps, simple yet profound, that we can transform the act of listening from a passive experience to a powerful tool for growth and self-discovery. The first step on this journey is to cultivate spaces of silence in our daily lives. In a world that prides itself on constant connectivity and the hustle of productivity, silence is often seen as empty space. Yet it is in this emptiness that fullness is found. Dedicate moments in your day to sit in silence, to let the quiet envelop you, allowing your soul to speak and your heart to listen. Whether it's the first few minutes of the morning, as the world still slumbers, or the last moments at night, under the blanket of stars, find your sanctuary of silence. 
Next, we must learn to be present. Presence is the gateway to listening, to truly hearing and absorbing the essence of the moment. It means being fully engaged with whoever is in front of you, with whatever task is at hand, with the beauty that surrounds you. Being present allows you to hear not just the words spoken by others, but the emotions, the unspoken truths that dance between the lines. Practice presence by focusing on your breath, by grounding yourself in the here and now, and by looking into the eyes of those you speak with, connecting not just with their words, but with their souls. Another step is to cultivate curiosity. Curiosity opens our minds and hearts to the wonders of the world and the experiences of others. It invites us to ask questions, to delve deeper, to explore the unknown. When we approach life with a curious spirit, Every conversation, every encounter becomes an opportunity to learn, to grow, to understand more profound. Encourage your curiosity by asking open-ended questions, by seeking to understand different perspectives, and by allowing yourself to wonder and to want. We must also practice empathy. Empathy is the bridge that connects us heart to heart, soul to soul. It allows us to feel with others, to share in their joys and sorrows, to understand their journey from a place of compassion and kindness. Cultivate empathy by imagining yourself in someone else's shoes, by listening not just to respond but to understand, and by extending kindness and compassion even in the face of differences. Lastly, take action based on what you hear. Listening is not just an inward journey. It calls for outward expression. When life whispers guidance, when your heart speaks its truth, act on it. Let these whispers guide your decisions, inspire your actions, and shape your path. Whether it's pursuing a dream long held in your heart, extending a hand of help to another, or simply choosing to live each day with intention and joy, let your actions be a reflection of the wisdom you've gleaned from listening deeply. As we stand at the precipice of our journey together, poised between the echoes of what has been shared and the silence that beckons us forward, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound simplicity of listening. In the stillness that we have explored, in the spaces of silence we've embraced, we've rediscovered a truth as old as time itself. That within the whispers of life lies the blueprint of our destiny, a map that guides us toward our true north, toward a life filled with meaning, purpose, and profound joy. What we've journeyed through together is more than just a conversation about listening. It's a call to action, a call to awaken to the beauty and the wisdom that surrounds us, waiting patiently to be heard. It's a reminder that in every moment, life is speaking to us, offering us clues, guidance, and inspiration. If only we have the courage to listen, to truly listen. So as we prepare to step back into the world, let us carry with us the commitment to cultivate silence in our lives, to be present, to approach the world with curiosity and empathy, and to act on the wisdom that we uncover in the whispers of our hearts. So just remember that the art of listening is not just about hearing what is said, but about feeling, understanding, and connecting with the world around us and the people we share it with. Let this be our promise to ourselves and to each other. To live our lives as a testament to the power of listening, to allow our actions to be guided by the truths we uncover in the silence, and to move through the world with an open heart, ready to receive, to understand, and to love more deeply. And as we do, let us trust that the whispers of life will guide us, not just toward becoming the best versions of ourselves, but toward creating a world that reflects our collective hope, compassion, and humanity. For in the end, it is through listening that we find our way. It is through listening that we connect. And it is through listening that we transform not only our own lives, but the lives of those around us. So let us go forth with a renewed sense of purpose, with ears attuned to the subtle, the beautiful, and the profound. Let us be the listeners the world needs, the bearers of light in times of darkness, and the champions of love in a world that yearns for understanding and connection. 
And let us do so with the knowledge that in the whispers of life, we find the music of our souls, the rhythm of our spirits, and the harmony of our shared humanity. Thank you for this shared journey, for your openness, your willingness to explore the depths of listening. May the path ahead be lit with the wisdom you've gleaned, and may your steps be guided by the gentle yet powerful whispers of life.